guys as you can see this is our three equation with complex number complex number and uh, solve the XYZ each with real and imaginary part okay we are allowed to solve it with the small error within the small error for example 0 0.0001 okay in the opening video you already see the answer of my back lab which is here as you can see from the opening video this is the solution by MATLAB code with the genetic algorithm toolbox so this is the answer if we just want the answer get the answer and done if we want to learn okay let's see how do we learn it to learn the process of obtaining solution of this mathematical problem based on the all engineer terminology of genetic algorithm is really difficult for beginner okay you know chromosome gene population generation mutation is really difficult so i try to use the guess the number game to explain the process and how to obtain the solution the process is the same but i use a human playing game as an example okay let's say okay first we need to set the understanding correctly okay it is very important to ensure the right hand side of the equation is equal to zero okay if it is not Let's move the item from the right hand side to the left hand side to ensure the right hand side equals to zero. Why? This is because we will evaluate the left hand side. And the best result will give us zero error. Ah, best result. Whatever not equals to zero is the error. Is the error. So we clear. Once we clear this is a, a common agreement, we will change the three equation into slightly different format but actually the same we name it as a equation one two and three and then uh, understandable the best is error equals to zero okay for this three equation now let's play the game for beginning we invite 100 players to join the game the name of the 100 player is p1 p2 p99 and p100 and so on of course, initially nobody know the answer of the of the solution. Nobody know. So, whatever the answer give will be a just random guess. Now, player one come. He suggested the answer is x equal to zero plus j zero. Y is two minus j. Z equals to minus one minus j two. Just purely guess. So let's put his x y z into the three equation. This three equation. This three equation. Okay. So we get we get e1 equals to something, e2, e2 equals to something, and e3 equals to something. And we know his answers are wrong. Because a correct answer will give e1, e2, and e3 equals to zero, which is we already agree in the previous page. So whatever not equal to zero is the error. Huh? Okay, let's calculate the total error of player one. We cannot directly sum out the numbers. We only take the magnitude. For example, negative 5.34 5 will become positive after applying absolute function. Same thing goes to other numbers. Okay, how do I get the negative 5.34 from here? How do I get the 2.29 from here? 1.79 from here, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, finally we get 30.59. We need to use the absolute function to ensure the magnitude of error is zero or positive because we know the minimum, the smallest error is zero. Okay? If smallest error is negative, then we have a problem because negative two is smaller than negative one. Negative 10 is smaller than negative two. Negative one million is smaller than something else and we have negative one trillion and so on, which is endless. So the right way to define as a magnitude the smallest error is zero so therefore we apply absolute function okay there is another strategy to ensure the error is zero or positive using the square function power two in fact in the programming code i use the square function okay both is usable actually the details differences are maybe not not so good to tell in the beginner in the advanced level i will discuss what is the difference Okay, let's moving forward. So player one obtained the error, uh, which is uh, thirty point five nine. So player two will give his answer, any answer, 
So we do need to know. We just know that we will calculate the error for player two in the round one as well. Eh? By the way, this is round one, eh? Round one, eh? Round one. Because this game is going to play many rounds. For example, 100 rounds. Okay, round two. So repeat for the same for the player three, and then we calculate the error function for player three, error function to player four, and so on and so on. We do a sorting where player with the smaller error listed on the top. Now this is an example. Okay, player twenty three uh, with the error function during this first round only three point one three, rank number one. Player seventy in this round one the error is four point four five, so he rank number two. The one we just calculated is player one. Okay. In this round one, his error is thirty point five nine, rank is fifty, and there are many others as well. So we have a full rank table. From this table, we will proceed. Those in the highest uh, rank in the table is considered more stronger, more uh, potential winner. Okay. Okay. Let's assume we are going to select ten pair of two player. Ten is an example. You can decide twenty pair. You can decide fifty pair. But uh, it cannot be zero pair. Okay, ten to fifty pairs are, are agreeable. Let's say ten pair of two players. What do we say then? For them to discuss with each other their choice of answer. Why they think so? Why their answer is correct? Okay. So player rank on the top has higher probability to be selected. Yes, higher probability. Those stronger has the highest probability to be selected. For example, player twenty three listed number one, rank number one. So he has a very high chance to be selected. And indeed, he has been selected. Okay, and he is paired with player one. You know, player one rank as fifty. Uh, not high, but but in this in this game. The the selection is random based on some luck factor as well, okay. Although he is listed in rank fifty, but again he is lucky. He is lucky. He just like uh, in old time, Mike Tyson is a boxing champion. He is very strong. But who knows? One day, by chance, by luck, by incidents, another young person that much lower rank managed to punch and win him. Sometimes luck is counted. So P one. Rank as fifty may be selected. In fact, in fact, the guy listed at the rank one hundred may be selected as well with extremely good luck. Okay, so let's continue. So now we have P twenty three and P one. We put side by side for information sharing. Okay, so this is a P twenty three. This is a P one. Okay, the P one is the one we just agree. This is x. Remember, x equals to zero plus j zero. Yeah, this is y equals to two minus j. Okay, which is as we listed here. Here, his guess. Okay, so same thing to the x. Then this is p twenty three. I did not show you because there are too many examples to show. So I just say I just take out the number here. Okay, this is his x, his y, and his z. So the information crossover is something like, you know, create two new answer based on exchange data of two players. Okay, okay. The newly created answer will give to two new players. You know, we invite two new player, P one zero one and P one zero two to join the game, and each of them will carry the new answer. Okay, so. What is the new answer look like? What is the new P look like? So here you can see P one zero one and P one zero two. So how do they? How do we get it? Actually, it's like this. It's crossover. Crossover meaning that, okay, P one zero one will take this number and this number, this number, this number, this number, and this number. He will take about half. Supposedly in random order, but for simplicity, I explain uh, in the in this order. Okay, and then for the P one zero two, he will get the answer from this number, this number, this number, this number, this number, and this number. In other words, okay, 
two players P23 and P1 they after they discussed they decided to create two new answer which is put on the new new player P101 and P102 this is supposedly 102 okay 102 okay meanwhile you must have noticed hmm this number is a bit weird it is not from the negative 2 it is something different from negative 2 okay here is another fun part during the discussion the player may decide that while exchange make some small modification ah this is what we call information mutation it may happen in a small rate it cannot be a big one because if you keep changing the big one the result the answer will not be systematic okay so in this case uh, when two players discuss and decided to change they also agree to make small uh, uh, changes for p101 okay which is mutated supposedly negative 2 become negative 1.98 so this is a pair number one so let's repeat the same process for pair number two to pair 10 with the same uh, information crossover information mutation as before so with that we total from 10 pair we created 20 new players namely p101 until p120 they are invited to join the game meanwhile the bottom 20 from the original list okay due to the poor performance in the first round they will be asked to leave the game meaning they fail they cannot be the champion anymore they fail okay so uh, original 100 plus new player 20 minus 20 we still have 100 players so for simplicity the newly joined 20 players p101 to p120 will take over the labor of the player that left the game so in other words, we still have P1, P2 until P100 lah for simplicity, discussion and calculation. Yeah, but keep in mind that 20 of the original player has already gone, failed out from the game. The other 20s are newly invited from the 10 pair of discussion. So round 1 is ended. Now we repeat the round 2. Ah, round 2 is almost the same process. The only difference is they do need to be random guess the answer they already have the answer remember in the first round so what they're going to do is they just calculate the error do a sorting of the error so that the smaller error listed on the top then select 10 pair crossover and mutation again okay so it's about the same it's just that do not need to guess again the numbers already with them in the first round they already guess the number so we repeat for round two and then round 3 and then round 4 until some preset number for example round 100 or 1000 guess what by the time all players manage to have the correct answer correct and almost the same answer for x y and z and all of them smaller than 0 0.001 error which is the answer here the answer here this is how I get the answer. Okay. Okay. Now, now the same process I discussed. Okay. Okay. Here, you may give you different answer. You know, this is nothing wrong because remember, equation one and equation two are non-linear. Especially equation one is a sinusoda function. It means it is a function keep change, keep repeating itself. So. It may have many answer overlapping point with another function. Ah, so it's nothing wrong. You get another answer, uh, another correct answer because basically it has many uh, valid answer. Why? Non-linear function, sinusoidal function. You know, it will overlap. Okay. Finally, let's discuss whatever I discuss here for the guess number game. It's the same process of the uh, AI genetic algorithms. I just changed the uh, keywords, okay, for you to have better understanding. Eh? Now let's talk about it. In the uh, in the our game, we call player, okay, we call it players. While in the genetic algorithm, we call it population or sometimes population pool. Okay, in our game, 
we call it round number one, round number two, kan? While in GA, they call it generation. It's the same meaning, actually. While the player himself, player one, player two, player, player P1, player P2 himself, is actually chromosome. Okay, so don't get, don't worry about chromosome. It's just a representation of a certain object, which is carry the gene, which is the X, Y, and Z. Remember, player P1, he has his X, Y, and Z carry with him. Which means chromosome carry some gene. Inside the gene is the numbers X, Y, Z. Okay? It's nothing to worry about it. Eh? I try to explain from the from the game, guess the number game, so that you don't worry from the genetic algorithm which come with the crazy terms. While the error function we discussed in the guess of number guess the number game is actually fitness function in GA. And lucky us, the selection, the crossover, the mutations are the same. Uh, terminology we use in genetic algorithm okay so you already see a quick uh, display of the result in the opening of the video i'm going to show you one more time in a slow one the code is available for download let's see the bottom of the description box of the youtube channels you mean you will download the two codes one is a main file for ga the other one is a chromosome file for ga then you can run okay this is a main code of genetic algorithm that solve this three equation problem. In MATLAB, you need two two fa. This is the main fa, and there's another one called chromosome fa, which is this one. The chromosome fa uh, extract the sixth number from the chromosome, put inside A B C. Okay, and then put inside e e equation 1, 2, 3 and then obtain the real part and imaginary part of each of them and to find the total so that we minimize based on it okay. but to run the code it must be in the main file okay. it must be in the main file let's run the code for your information you can do it in the maglab computer version I'm using the cloud version it is the same So this is a final x, y, and z. Okay, with the error one, error two, and error three, all smaller than zero point zero zero one. Okay, there are six error. Each E1 has two error, all of them smaller than 0 0.001, which is successful. You may get different answer because equation 1, equation 2 are non-linear, especially equation 1 is a sine and cosine function that with infinite repeated cycle. Okay, so definitely the overlapping points is more than one. Okay. So bottom line, the error is small enough for us to accept it as result. So here is the result. You may also see the graph. Uh, for, for my version, it takes a while to load due to the count. But if you use a computer version, you may see the graph that the fitness function or the error function is improving. And then eventually, very very small than near to zero the more cycle or more generation it is the more better of course it will take longer time to process however it's, it's fast enough just few minutes if you like my video please subscribe share and tell me what you like to see in future as usual thank you very much i see you in the next video Bye-bye.